has been disrupted by Southern Rail and their incapability of, of, um, of running trains on time. Since this morning, commuters on Southern Rail face a new timetable with 341 fewer daily services. After weeks of cancellations and disruptions, the firm says the new timetable, which will run for the foreseeable future, will be more reliable. But passengers' anger over the state of the service continues to grow. The whole service is abysmal. It's gone on for such a long time and, they, and neither party seems to care about the customers. They just pay lip service to custom service. It will now meet people's expectations um, with fewer trains. Uh, Allegedly, they're going to be more efficient. I am hoping that at the very least it sort of makes trains a little bit more regular and reliable so I don't have to cancel quite so many things and I can actually get home to my family, which would be lovely. The delays have been more than just a nuisance to some passengers. I, I've lost my job and also it sort of means that, you know, if I go for another job, could I potentially be in the same situation? because the trains aren't running. So, you know, a company is going to look at me and say, well, you know, is he going to be reliable? He's, you know, he's in the Southern Rail catchment area. 341 trains have been removed from the daily schedule, meaning 85% of services will run for the next month. Southern Rail's parent company, Govia Thameslink, say they'll review the new timetable in four weeks' time. The timetable at the moment gives us more resilience because we were cancelling lots of trains um, in an ad hoc manner. So we, we didn't have enough control over this. So I accept it's not what the service the customers want, but it will bring more assurance and it will bring more resilience. Protests occurred at London's Victoria Station today against Southern Rail and its management over the service. Represent women in politics.